What is up, guys? Cool to hear. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we took on uh, Rumors of a Reaper, our showdown number two with the Death Knight, and it should have gone well, but RNG decided not to. Although I think I still could have. I put in the in the pin comment from last episode um, that had I thought about it in the video and not after I was already recording. I think I could have killed him uh, with, I think, Bernadetta, giving her the Lance of Ruin, and then using Night Kneeler. I don't know how much damage that would have done, but I feel like that would have solved missing the 87. Um, but either way, we're going to get a new month started, and there's a DLC that just dropped that we may be using. It's just, it's a free, I think it's free, um costume for Byleth, so we'll take a better look at it whenever we get to the monastery, but let's get it going. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Oh, and it looks like we have paralogs open. I have heard that the paralogs are uh, pretty rough on Maddening, or at least some of them. I don't know which ones, but I've I've heard paralogs. You gotta be cautious about them. Okay, it's also the month. Professor, Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Battle of the Eagle and Lion, correct? Yes. Uh, it, where's the yes? Only the name, I guess. I see. In that case, allow me to fill you in. It's a large-scale mock battle between the rival houses that takes place every year. Its scale is incomparable to the mock battle we fought during the Great Tree Moon. It will take place in the vast Grander Field. That is in Empire territory to the southeast of Garrick Mock. Whichever house defeats the most opponents wins. Of course, the professors also fight alongside their respective houses. Well, usually. Professor Manuela is being prudent. She will not be participating this year. She got stabbed. What do you mean is being prudent? <laughs> Since his longtime rival will be absent, Professor Hanneman has also declined. Uh, what should I do? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Are you feeling any better, Professor Manuela? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Uh, if I'm the only professor present, I think that it... let's go with that one. We have taught That's our fun. students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Okay. I I think that battle should hopefully go all right. Okay, I was like, uh. Yeah, the Sothis Regalia outfit can now be accessed via your journal in your personal quarters, so we will be checking that out. Uh, but before that, certifications. Uh, okay. 15. No, it's 10 and 20. Okay. Uh, no one, I don't think, has capped anything. Uh, but Anna. I guess Anna's capped her middle ground class. 68. Or we go, well, no, mage not looking good right now. <laughs> okay. 
Um, let's buy a seal. Buy. Probably just buy all three. Just to have them for now. Alright. Certifications. And, uh. Please. Yes! All right, there we go. Good shit. All right. Uh, I think that's what did we get. We did get support from after the last. Oh, we got a decent bit of support seemingly from the last chapter. Uh, so let's do some of the. Actually, I think. Hold on. <laughs> There's so many things. I was like, what do I want to do today? There are two. I don't remember the names. So, Vans and Ingrid Dorothea's. Okay. Um. I don't know. I'm trying to remember, because we did so veins for the first time in, you know, our last path, Blue Lions. I remember it being annoying, or maybe that was Felix's. I don't know. I don't know what we're been doing today. I'll just decide on the fly. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and get the exploration started. Unit appearance. So I have... Let's see. I've only seen, like, the, the pictures. Can I, like, rotate? Yeah. So this is the Sothis regalia. You just wear Sothis' clothes on Byleth. Uh, at least for an episode. I like this way better than I like male Byleths. I don't like male Byleths, like, at all. Um, I still find this to be a bit odd. But it just came out. Fuck it. Uh, and let's do... Yeah, monastery. Yes. Now we get to run around <laughs> like this. Look, look at us. Just one and the same. So we get tights. We oh, and like a have a whole or just it's not a full body. It's just tights, the stop of the ankles, and then arms with no shoulder. Some sort of weird sock thing, kind of like Tharja, but like much less of it <laughs> okay well yeah let's get this going and figure out what the hell we're doing today you know the empire used to control all of fodland but after the civil war the northern region split off and became the kingdom later the eastern part of the kingdom seceded to become the alliance there are three powers today but a thousand years ago we were all united as one even now among the nobles of the empire there are some who dream of reunifying Fodlan. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is a free-for-all contest among the three classes. If you are victorious, the Archbishop will no doubt present you with a reward. What do you say, Adel? Shall we meet up in the library later, too? Oh, hello, Professor! Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Adel here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Don't worry. I won't participate in any assignments, so as not to take any attention away from the younger students. I look forward to learning from you, Professor. Hi, Professor. Want to know something? Grondor is in the territory of House Burglies in the Empire. That's right next to my home, the region of House Varley. Oh, no. What if... what if my parents come to watch? I'm calm! Of course I'm calm! Why wouldn't I be calm? Fishing? No thanks. I tried it once and... Ugh, gross. I don't even really like to eat fish, let alone catch and gut them. Besides, who can think about fishing right now? The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is coming up soon. Feeling confident? That's the spirit. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I swear to you, Professor, every month we're worked harder than the month before. I had imagined the Academy as a chance to possibly relax before our lives began in earnest. 
Agreed. That's the Church of Saros for you. What is it they say? Those with power are obliged to use it? This created more fun than I have experienced in a long time. Did you also have the fun? Hey, I wasn't expecting much, but this tournament was a lot of fun. I'm happy to eat alone, but all right. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Why are we seated beside each other? I cannot enjoy my food with you sitting here. Just shut up and eat. You want me to cook? Not that I don't have experience, but... Cooking is a bit like hunting, but less satisfying. I see. People say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your sword technique up close. Indeed, I think that's best. I'll transfer to your class then. Don't make me regret it. Seems simple enough. I can do better now. <laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. All right. So, I think um, we're going to, because Felix and all the supports we have, we're going to do uh, a regular, like, monastery day. And then the next time we're going to do one of this, uh, one of the paralogues, I think we're going to do the Dorothea one. I feel like that will be the lesser of the two evils of the two we have right now. Um, but Felix is with us, uh, able to snag him right before the, uh, the battle, so we don't have to fight against him. That's cool. Um, but let's go over him because we will be actually using him on this path. Uh, the other, I guess the last recruit, Leone, uh, is just gonna be a bench warmer for supports and, um, uh, Paralog, which I think there's a, there's still a stipulation with the Leone Paralog. I don't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, Felix here. Coming in at level 17, I class changed him. He came in as, uh, whatever Byleth is right now. Hold on. <laughs> uh, mercenary. I threw him back one for, uh, for Myrmidon so he could get swap. Uh, but coming in, pretty damn nice stats. 18 strength. 19, he's getting a speed boost from, oh, from the meal. Um, 10 defense, pretty nice. We used him in the last mission as a uh, mission assistant. Worked pretty damn well. Uh, the lone wolf ability, he gets what, plus five? Yeah, plus five damage when no battalion is assigned or battalion endurance is zero. Uh, we ignored that for the most part in um, our blue lines run. It's just because I didn't really care. Like, yeah, plus five damage, cool. I ended up giving him a uh, battalion that added more than five damage, so he would still get a net positive and have a battalion. Uh, this time, I think just due to the nature of maddening mode, probably won't see a, uh, a battalion on him unless another situation arises where we have more than five uh, attack on a battalion. So it just has a net positive on this. Uh, but until then, no battalion for uh, Felix. He has the Fraldarius Crest. Sometimes raises a might when using a weapon. Um, and he comes with Grounder, Wrath Strike, Fading Blow, Combat Arts, uh, Sword Prowess 3, Bow Prowess, Brawling 3. Uh, he has a Budding Talent in Reason, which gives him plus 10 Black Magic Crit. We're not going to be using any of that this run. We did... Dark Knight Felix in our Blue Lines run. Uh, it was, it was I, it was fun though. Uh, we're not gonna be doing that this time. We're gonna be uh, uh, definitely taking advantage of his three strengths. You can see Bo has already begun. 
Uh, but let's go over his growths to further explain. So Felix has a 45 HP growth, 55 strength, 30 magic, 45 dex, 55 speed. Nice one there. 40 luck, 30 defense, 20 res, and 30 charm. Man's got real, real nice growths. Um, the only thing I guess I have anything to fear is maybe defense, but like, to the nature of kind of unit he is, it's not going to matter too much. Um, those are his growths. I'm thinking we're going to go a like sword master class. Um, maybe end up in war master. I know Caspar is going there. And I'm definitely going to use fists if we go back to the weapons he has. I gave him training gauntlets. Um, but definitely sword, 100%. Uh, bow, he's good at bows. And I thought, I don't know if I'll give him archer. Because archer also has profic sword proficiency attached to it. Uh, the hit plus 20, I don't know if we'll need it with how good his uh, dex, the... Uh, yeah, dex growth, skill growth is. Um, but lethality could be a nice one with how he should turn up. Uh, and then lethality on a fist user, also great. So I think we're going to be aiming along those lines as our final class. It might be Swordmaster. Uh, sort of like the level 20 classes. Like... The only one that really would do anything is Mortal Savant, but he would need, what is it, it's a reason, which goes into his, like, budding talent and everything, but I don't, I don't know. And then War Master would need to pump Axe, so I don't know, he might, he might just end his journey on Swordmaster and just go from there, because Swordmaster gives him the sword crit plus 10 natively, and then the Swordmaster growth are pretty nice. Uh, in addition to all that, uh, his, like, special, uh, let's see, dependent arts that he gets, he gets Sunder at C+, plus, uh, in sword, uh, which I think he just got, actually. Um, he'll also end up with Finesse Blade at A rank sword, Heavy Draw at C in bow, and then he has a Nimble Combo for Fists at C+, and Mystic Combo at A Fists. So, some fun sounding things. Like I said, I think that's about what we're going to be doing. We'll just use Fists on a Swordmaster. That's not going to go poorly. <laughs> but there we go, Felix is on the squad. Alright. Uh, but we do have two battle quests, and then we're talk about Paralogs. Uh, yeah, Banish the Bandits and the Best of the Best, both suggest level 10, one's in Garbmok Outskirts, one's in Kingdom Territory. Let's do Kingdom Territory, and then I'll do this one on my own, and then we will wrap this up with a, uh, we have two. So I can do the other on my own. I said that, and then I realized, wait, but no, I have two battle points now, so I actually can do that. Hell yes. All right. And then we'll wrap up with uh, the big chunk of supports we got and prepare for a paralogue next time. Okay, so uh, I had Linhart take a back seat on this one because I can't uh, field everyone right now. Just so, you know, we just got Felix, might as well give him a little bit of spotlight there. Uh, also, one button. Yeah. So, trade secrets. I wanna try and actually nab. See, steal. Yoink. Alright, what kind of... They're not thieves. Yeah, so we should need to... Oh, do all... Okay, all of them have... Is it plus, or is it regular axe breaker? It is plus. Okay. Is that what all of them are gonna have? Okay, and armor has seemingly the armor standard for this difficulty. Uh, okay, a bunch of healing stuff, mage stuff that we've seen. Uh, okay, no pass though, so hell yeah. So, this looks strange. Stretched out like that. Alright. Uh, well. 
But I have animations on, right? Okay. I will go. Well. <laughs> what a start. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Um, That's my cue. Okay. I mean, the, the difference is probably, like, it's a quest. I feel like the quest battles are always weaker than regular auxiliary battles, and then especially weaker than the DLC auxiliary battles. But oh, man. There you go. Too easy. I actually really like the, the Myrmidon outfit on you. Uh, okay. As for other things. As you wish. Um. Put me in there. I will prevail. Now you know your limits. Yeah, I. This is dangerous, right? So, like, this is how I get lured into a false sense of security. Because things look completely free, um, and so I'm just gonna kind of like. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Walk forward without thinking about anything. What's your speed? Seven. Well, you can't double. So why not? Javelin, yes. Stay focused. Caspar, get in here. Uh, Anna, see what we got here. Rusted axe, okay. It's fine. Okay, higher authority. Oh, of course you would hit your 65. Ooh, we're about to hit scene Lance here, okay. Which I want to say... Well, I don't know if you get... Um, Night Kneeler. But if you... I think C will find out. This was you beneath C plus, you get Shatter Slack. Yeah. Alright, so now we have two Night Kneeler options for Death Knight. That's what I like to see. Steel Sword, yeah, not at all. Oh. Okay then. That is that. Okay then. Why? Why is the game like this? <laughs> to me. A one away from a B in reason. Uh, I think there was another when I was looking. I think I might have killed him. I think it was the the healer. Yeah. All right. Just looking for trade secrets. Sixteen. Night kneeler. Oh. Well, this is a kill. Might as well. Let's see. Yeah. I get stronger? These strength levels are ridiculous. At least someone's, you know, going above and beyond. Uh it, it. instead of underperforming, Hubert. Apologies. Here, heal. And then we'll give it. I know Caspar is about to level. And go here. What a there jump. we go. Yeah, that levels him, and then he's on a gold tile. Speak of underperforming. Man. All right, then go back to training gauntlets. Am I 
All right. It feels weird that like a lot of my units are kind of like set almost like to just they they've got kind of their extraneous paths finished like uh Hubert has C rank and uh, faith, and he's never going to learn any more faith spells. And we're super early in the game, that feels weird. Just because I've been doing weird shit on the other two paths. Well, one was learning, and the other one was actual weird Perhaps shit. I've been well taught. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's just pumping authority and reason for him for like the rest of the game. Why am I even here? Because I hijacked you. That's why you're here. Uh, Alright. Anyone else, like, level-wise or even job-wise? People are looking pretty good job-wise. About half or so. Those are steel gauntlets. Not a kill. You see that? And Edelgard, I probably need to get her, well, in a situation like this, where they have an Axe Breaker, a bow. Witness my power. She's bad at bows, but she can still do damage with them. You know what? I shouldn't have anything to fear. Nope. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is dangerous. Go through this, and then the next map that I'm just gonna, like, blow through as well. Uh, yeah, that's Kaspar. Heal. Then we're gonna have a real map, and be like, wait, what do you mean I can't just walk forward? <laughs> Trading axe. Okay. Bop, bop. Oh, you didn't die. Okay. Can I get that uh, D plus rank in Lance? So we get C in Lance before, I think, what is it? January or February? We can grab Leone immediately instead of waiting. Which should be pretty damn doable. Next time, bring your friends. I know Highlight is like really close to, I think closest to Can mastering level 10 class. I don't wanna speed that up. Heal. And this movement ring is a blessing. Heal. I uh, can't reach in. Wait, wait, wait. Just. Just so we can get experience for Anna. She has ward now. So we use it. That's gonna be something I need to remember. I don't think I've used any mages that uh, had ward yet in this game. It's kind of like uh, in other games. I think pure water's in this game too. It's one of the items that I very, very I rarely have. ever actually think about. Here, uh, Anna has shove. There's also a swap. Yoink. Uh, come out here, pick up some goodies for me. Training sword. All right. An award again. His experience level 14. I know a good deal when I see it. Hell yeah, okay, that's another uh now that we have ten weight or ten strength, we have another minus one weight to the formula. That's a good level. Okay. So obvious. That's the second 80-something percentile that I've missed 
in this map. Let's see, level wise. So death is what? High crit rate, one to three range, six base might. Okay, it's heavy. You could have at right. least tried. Oh. Well, that didn't. There's trade secret. I thought that was gonna level him. Not at all. Okay. In that case, uh, ooh. he can't. He cannot be hit by that. That is that is a no go. See training gauntlets. Boom. Oh, the crest of Fraldarius, extra damage. Too easy. Alright, well, for the kill then. Probably get Hubert to level in the next map, at the very least. I need like uh Caspar. Like he's almost another authority rank up. Uh, I guess we'll just do. Oh, I mean it's more Lance experience, right? There we go, D plus. The glory of progress. And again, let's look at like proficiencies. Uh, no one's like right there. So we'll just come up here, Iron Bow. Bridget Pride. Okay. Hey, that was like a, a complete wash. <laughs> Didn't expect it. Okay. Felix taking the field though. He's gonna be a fun one. I can feel it. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna do the other one. And then we'll return to the monastery after I think another training session and uh, get some supports. I still have a long way to go. My efforts were not in vain. I am closing in on expertise. I'm really getting the hang of this. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get all of these done. Looks like we have a, a decent bit built up here. Um, hi. Well, well, if it isn't Bernadetta, what brings you here? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'll come back another time. Well, don't leave yet, you just got here. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Uh, yes. Do you remember that time in town? In town? Oh, you mean when all those thieves showed up? <laughs> That was rough. I heard a bunch of people got robbed. No, not that. I mean the time I was... carried off. Some thieves tried to carry you off? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just tell me which way they went. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Oh, just forget it. Wait, don't go. What are you trying to ask me? Will you really listen this time? Of course. Sorry. You have my full attention. Do you remember when you carried me to that spot with a really pretty view? Where is that place? I've been looking all over. The place I took you with the view? <gasps> oh, right! Okay, first you go out of the monastery, and... Actually, it's kind of tricky to explain. Come on, I'll just take you there again, but pay attention this time. Or Linhart. Uh, a little more crimson, maybe? May I suggest vermilion instead? Vermilion? I know, I see it. You don't have to say it. I've got no talent at all. I said nothing about your talent. I simply suggested vermilion over crimson. 
Do you know vermilion? It's just a softer shade of crimson. I believe it would... Oh, forget it. This is your artistic vision, and I am but a meddler. I am going to read my book and leave you to your art. Um, no, it's fine. Say what you want to say. It's good advice. I'll use vermilion. Thank you. Well, I'd best be heading back. Phew! Finally done! I think. All finished? Uh, please, don't look at it! Everything looks a bit faded, doesn't it? Ironically, Crimson may have been a better choice after all. The sense of distance on the petals is a little strange. Perhaps you should pay closer attention to such details as you paint. A preliminary sketch would do wonders. Still, a Forget my pedantic comments. You really do have potential. <sighs> Bernadetta? Oh, idiot! Hopeless! Waste of charm! Just burn the whole thing, Bernie! Break your stupid brushes and never paint again! Huh. Perhaps I should have kept my thoughts to myself. Alright, uh, let's see, we have one with Hubert and one with Edelgard here, and then Kaspar and Linhart are set up. Uh, also Leo, oh, yeah, yeah, I mentioned Leonie already. Uh, okay, let's get Edelgard C+. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? Uh, can I ask you the same thing? I just wanted some fresh air. There's a lovely breeze tonight. I always wander outside when sleep evades me. Uh, I couldn't sleep either. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. I should get some sleep too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? Can't say I ever have. Fuck outside. <laughs> I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun. For a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. Uh, should I say I forgot you asked me? To? Yeah, let's say, uh... <laughs> you know, let's go with that one. Well, perhaps if I tell you more, it will come back to you. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the Crest of Saros, inherited through the Hresfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand. The fruit of that endeavor, Edelgard von Hresfeld. But that came at too high a price. The others were sacrificed. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it, the truth of the Hresfeld's empire. Uh, why do the innocents die, though? Uh, who's to blame? The Prime Minister and his gaggle of nobles. They had the Empire under their thumbs. My father, the Emperor, tried to stop him, but it was futile. My father was nothing but a puppet on a string by then. He was powerless to save us. I know how it all sounds, but when you see my true strength, you will know I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but... I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours, the Crest of Flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifice is never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. That music? Especially if that was, you know, if this was the first path and that was like a, an actual surprise. I, I like the reveal. I like it. Kind of sick. 
Um, okay. B support with Hubert. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Uh, <laughs> assassination? Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. Why are you following me? I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendelle? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. Yeah. You may also know him as Lord Arendelle, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took Her Majesty and fled to the Kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Eyre and my father, Lord Arendelle rendered Emperor Ionius IX politically impotent. Lady Edelgard is Ionius IX's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. Wow. When I Rude. look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. I mean, literally a dialogue with something inside your heart, yeah? Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. Uh, there might be something to that. I mean, considering this path does have a split, like, yeah? There might be the more something to I it. learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, continuing on with Hubert, we have Hubert and Dorothea. Uh, Hubert and Caspar B, that finishes theirs. You were rather quiet in the last battle, Caspar. Not a single war cry to be heard. It was almost as if you weren't even there. I did it just for you, Hubert. Isn't that what you wanted? Weren't you the one who said my shouting would cause problems? Yes, I was. And at the time, you seemed intent on ignoring my advice. Well, that was then. Recently, my behavior caused trouble, just like you said it would. I was shouting the other day and some enemies heard. I pretty much gave our position away and left us open to attack. I mean, it turned out fine in the end, but someone could have died if things had played out differently. Anyway, I did some self-reflecting and realized that I probably shouldn't shout so much. A decision that I'm proud to say I came to all on my own. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all on your own, huh? It was a bad decision. Being too quiet on the battlefield is extremely dangerous. I'm sorry, what? That's the exact opposite of what you said before. Having seen you fight in silence, I have no choice but to accept the truth that your shouting is vital. What in the world are you talking about? We've all grown used to the way you fight. Your battle cries help morale. And your instructions rise above the din of battle. I would go so far as to say that the soldiers under your command would be lost without the guidance of your booming voice. I really don't get you, Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> you inspire people. The benefits of your shouting outweigh the risks. Something wrong? Oh my god. <laughs> if you want me to shout, then I'm gonna shout! I'm not even gonna think about it! I knew you'd come around! <sighs> Don't get too excited. I'll be ambushed again. Then I guess I'm gonna have to fight some guys while shouting! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
What is that laugh? That might have been the wrong approach. Oh, well. No cure for stupidity. <laughs> I suppose I'll just have to rein him in myself. Okay, that... I mean, it's only a B and C, but I really enjoyed their support. Okay. Uh, Hubert and Dorothea B. Hey there, Hubie. I've been thinking about our conversation the other day, and I've just got to know, do you really love Aidy? If it's one or the other, I suppose it would be closer to love than to hate. Why? Ah, uh, I knew it! That's why you work so hard for Aidy. Oh, Hubie, I finally get you. You're just another servant suffering from unrequited love for their mistress. <laughs> You completely misunderstand. Unrequited love. Do I really look like the kind of drooling simpleton to have that kind of motivation? I'd like to say yes, but I know you just <laughs> argue. Fine, Hubie. Tell me your situation. My situation is simple. I am walking a path. Oh, do go on. Everyone has a path in life. Lady Edelgard has shown me mine. It is just beside her own. So we walk together side by side. We stride ever forward, yielding to nothing and to no one. So... you're sharing the same dream? <laughs> Bluntly, yes. But it's more than just a shared dream. I have many feelings toward Lady Edelgard. Gratitude, respect, awe, empathy, trust, hope. Okay. I was teasing you, but I gotta say I'm just a little bit jealous of you and Aidy. That you're able to embrace these feelings and stride forward along the same path. You're lucky, Hubie. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to experience anything so utterly... operatic. What? Because I figure oh. the best quality in a the partner would be that they make... Why not? Because I figure the best quality in a partner would be that they make me happy. And loving another is really about wanting to be loved. I'm pretty sure that's different from how things are with you and Aidy. Mm -hmm. Okay, can't wait to see how that resolves. Uh, but, see, Dorothea and Ferdinand's B. Ah, you have arrived at just the right time. Care for one of these handmade treats? <laughs> Oh, this is the blatant I hate you support. Oh, good. My goodness, Ferdy. When did you become such a talented confectioner? <laughs> oh, Dorothea, I am hardly an expert. Nevertheless, you have managed to make some tasty looking treats. Well, it is the first time I have tried my hand at it. Honestly, there were several unsuccessful attempts preceding this batch. I made these pastries to solve that riddle you gave me. The reason you despise me. Oh? You said I was like a bee. The bee is a dutiful worker, just as I am. But the bee inherits a capacious home with a wealth of honey. Similarly, I inherited my fortune. I did not receive it as a reward for my labor. I surmised that perhaps you'd feel differently about me if I earned something all on my own. That was my plan to emulate your transformation from desperate pauper to successful songstress. All on your own? Did you renounce your nobility? Give away your riches? No, I made these. I obtained all the ingredients on my own, without anyone's help. You mean, you got the sugar and the flour? Yes. To earn the flour, I worked in the fields. To earn the sugar, I carried a merchant's wares. Who did the cooking? You? Naturally. I took on some extra chores in exchange for use of the kitchen at night. I have to admit, that's impressive. Hey, it looks like you had a bit of an accident. Is your hand okay? I burned myself a little while I was baking. Nothing to worry about. Nonsense. That burn will scar, you know. Come on, let's get you to the infirmary. Uh, wait, Dorothea! You have yet to try my treats. You should be fine now, Ferdy. Big shot nobles have to treat their bodies with care just like the rest of us. There you go again. Noble this, noble that. 
Though you did say it with less disdain than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past you. As it were, I may have reconsidered you a little. You have reconsidered me? Finally! Just as I had hoped, we are becoming friends. Now then, I propose that we... I only said I reconsidered a little. And you still haven't figured out why I said you're like a bee. <laughs> Which is funny, because you look like a bee right now. Bye! <laughs> so, I am still a bee. A completely mystified bee. Okay. Oh, I can't. That's another one. I'm really excited. Is this is it an A or just A plus? Okay, just an A. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, all right, and Ferdinand and Petra. This is the learning about history support, I believe. Taking care of some weapon maintenance, Petra? You seem completely absorbed. Or maybe just learning in general. That's how it started, anyways. Yes, taking care of the weapons has great importance. I cannot argue with that. That weapon there, is it from Bridget? No, it is a weapon of Dagda. But the people of Bridget use... I mean, used them often. Fascinating. I have read about the weapons of Dagda, but this is my first time seeing one in person. Lots of weapons and fighting techniques came from Dagda to Bridget. Ah, so Dagda to the west had a big influence on the Bridget archipelago. I am fascinated by foreign fighting techniques, would you consider teaching me sometime? I will. But it is difficult to explain fighting with words. We can try sparring, maybe? Yes, a practical demonstration. I would be quite grateful. Let's have our beginning, then. <sighs> Perhaps we should stop there. Oh? Do you think you have understanding of the fighting techniques from Dagda? Yes, now that I have experienced it firsthand. <laughs> I used to look down on foreign fighting styles, but I was clearly remiss. The footwork, the nimble way you shift your weight is extraordinary. I will have to remember those moves for the next time I am in battle. Clearly, you have honed your skills through practice. Your fist felt as sharp as a spear. Bridget is stuck in between Dagda and Fodlin. It is of much importance to hone our fighting techniques. I am of the royal family, but I am a warrior before that. I must fight to live and to protect my home. When the alliances of Bridget and Dagda encroached on the Empire, they were always driven back. But perhaps the Empire's victory was due to geographic advantage or divine intervention, rather than military superiority. Having met you, that is what I think. I cannot help but feel a little disgraced. I held foreign fighting styles in such low regard without ever seeing them for myself. When I came to Fodlin, I felt disgraced for many things that I learned. But there is no disgrace in losing ignorance. We need to be learning and growing with each other, always. Yes, by working together we can make progress. And both sides need to look ahead to the future. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what a nice supports. Um, but all right, yeah, I think I want to do the um. Is it forgotten nuptials? Yeah, the one with Dorothy and Ingrid. I feel like that one would be easier to do uh with some lesser levels. I mean, I suppose considering there is another week, we could try and do both this month. I don't know. Let's figure that out when we get there. Um, but either way, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!